welcome back to my channel. So I've just printed off the new, I don't know if she's calling it the set of art, but she's doing the six PDFs Mario the Boo deck on Etsy at the moment for 50% off for all six of them. Now I did already own one of them, which is this one at the back, the wolf, which I have already completed, but I've printed it off just in case I wanted to tackle that again. I like having all of the PDFs that I own printed out and in binders. So I'll quickly just go through these. This is the page that I am going to do today. This is the one that I've picked out. I did have this on my wish list for a week or so. So it was, it was good that it came with it. This one, I'll show you. This was on my wish list. So it was fabulous this morning waking up and seeing that they were all on the 50%. This one was on it as well. I don't believe this one was. I have got something very similar to this, but you know, it's beautiful nonetheless. This wasn't on it, but I'm glad that I own it now. My printer was having a bit of a funny one. As you can see, there's a couple of lines here, but I think I'll be able to get away with colouring over them just so I'm not wasting paper and ink. And then, like I said, this one that I already own. So I'm just gonna move these out of the way. And this is the one I wanna start today. Right, so my idea is to use Copics with this one, but my, is, is it E, E000 has run out, so until I get a, a replacement ink, the various ink, then I'm just, ha I'm going to have to go with a different colour scheme than that, what I would usually go for. I swear to God, as soon as I press record, my next door neighbours let the dogs out. So I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to have to go with it. I don't know how long they're going to be out there for. So we'll just have to grin and bear it for a little while. So the colours that I have chosen, I've got eggshell E50. I'm just going to swatch these out just to remind myself what the colours are like. E00. That's more on the peachier side. And then I've got E21. So we're getting a little bit darker for them shadows. And then from a darkest shade, I've gone with sand, which is E33. I'm not 100% sure whether I want to add blush with the Copics or with pencil afterwards. I've not decided yet. I'll move my little swatch book out of the way. And I'll bring you in a little bit closer. And I think we shall work, we'll work on the hand first and bring it down the arm. Move this out properly out of the way. And I'll start off with the lighter shade. It's been a few weeks since I've used the Colpix. So I'm hoping that these shades are going to be okay together. And they're not going to run out on my... We'll just do this one finger while it's, you know, there's a line there and it's stopped. And we'll get all the, the shadows together and let's see if I'm happy with it. So I'm just going in with the next darkest shade, which was the E00. The thing that I really love about Mario Olibu Dead is, you know, it's grayscale. Not really heavy, heavily grayscaled, but she's already showing you where to put the shadows. And then Soft Sun E21. I'm going and darken that a little bit further. I know there is a couple of different ways of doing it with cold pitch. You can go backwards and forwards between the darker and the lighter colours. But this is the way that I found that it worked for me. And this one is the Sand E33. Yeah, E33. I'm going to go back in with the very lightest shade, which was the E50, and just blend that out. It will dry slightly lighter as well. Let's see. If I bring that up to the camera a little bit better, you can see where I've gone out the lines very slightly. But I'm not too worried because it is on her finger. 
So let's just carry on. You know what? I'm going to take the lids off all of them. Keep them in order. Wrong side, Deborah. Don't want the chisel side. I might possibly go in with the Ohuhu markers on the hair. I've not decided yet. Just to see what they're like on this paper because I've not tested it out yet. So how it is everyone? It is Monday, it's Monday the 13th, 14th today, Monday the 14th of September when I'm recording this. At half past 10 in the morning. I've just filmed the tag video that Kate tagged me in from Kate's Colour in Haven. Just filmed that. So I thought, well, I've got a few hours spare, I might as well get some filming done. So I don't know when this will actually be up. It might be Wednesday or Thursday. We'll see. But we had a nice weekend. We didn't really do much. My daughter went back to private physio on Saturday and she did really well. I mean, we was a bit nervous that she wouldn't remember her physio. The lady's name's Pat, but she just she did fabulous with her. Um, I couldn't attend because it was only one parent that was allowed in the the session room at once, and my husband took her while well, I took our son to get his hair cut, and I went to come my nails done. Done. But yeah, she said that she did really well, and she was pleased with her. She was getting effort, do a lot of side sitting, leaning up against the bench, doing a lot of reaching, trying to get her to do um, reaching out with her left arm because she, she struggles a lot, she has it pinned to her body a little bit. Uh, then Saturday afternoon, what do we do Saturday afternoon? Oh we did a bit of shopping, just the normal food shopping for the week and then Sunday I had my dad round and my mother-in-law for Sunday dinner, cook for them, which was nice. I was worried, I was saying to my husband, it's always the way that if I'm just cooking for us, it turns out really nice and then I worry that if I cook for anybody else, it's not as nice, but luckily, they enjoyed it. So we're going in with the E009. And then just add in the shadows. I think my dry has just gone off. Yep, yeah, I'm in a washing machine, both at once. So with the fog on from next door gone in now. I swear to God she's psychic that woman next door. Oh, there's a little bit of shadow here because of the hair. My washing machine's doing a song for me. And there's a little bit just around here as well. And now with the even darker shade, which was the E21. We'll go from the top. The paper's starting to curl up a little bit here. I can feel it getting a bit, a bit bumpy. I was thinking about doing this with pan pastels. Because I've not touched them in a little while. I need to pull them out and have a play with them again. So what did everybody else get up to at the weekend? Have you got anything planned for next weekend? I think it's just very similar for us. She's at physio again on Saturday. Um, I think we wanted to go to a nature reserve 
that was in, we've never been before, it's in Preston. But I don't think we're going to have time next weekend. So once she's not a physio, we might be able to go the weekend after. I've been trying now for a week as well to try and get all of the wheelchair services because her buggy keeps breaking. She, um, you know, I think we've got to admit it now that she needs to go in a wheelchair. I'm trying to get hold of them and ringing and ringing and ringing and it's just going through to answering phone. And I don't know about you, but I hate leaving voicemail messages because I've had really bad, um, so this is E33, I've had really bad experiences with leaving voicemail messages. People say that they've not got them or, you know, whatever. So but I prefer to speak to a human. Well, that's not happening at the moment. I feel like I'm being a nag. Add a little bit more there because I think it will be a little bit darker there. I know it's looking scary at the minute, but once we go back in and blend with the other colour, it'll come together. Hopefully. <laughs> Right, so let's go back in with the lightest, which this was the E50. I think this is why I ran out of the, I think it was the E treble zero I ran out of, and that was my favourite one for, for doing skin at, at the moment. I think that's why I ran out of it, because you just use a lot more. about her, her colour. I think a really nice red colour would look nice on her. Like a strawberry blonde red. as well I've not used them in a little while because I started the diamond painting it was all my brain was letting me focus on but I've, I've finished that gigantic diamond painting that I got sent I've finished it so you will see that in my finished page this month I've not got nowhere near as many colouring pages done because I've been concentrating on that but I did start another little diamond painting it's only a little tiny one it's only half the size of this page and it's a little bee that I picked up from Amazon and it does look, it looks like the Manchester Bee and some lovely bright colours in it so I just spent 15-20 minutes here and there on it you know I'm not doing what I was doing with the other diamond paintings sitting there for for 2-3 hours at a time on that Friday that I finished it I think I'd spent 2.5 hours on it in the morning and I, I, I could see that I was getting so close to finishing it so in the afternoon, when Isabel was having a little nap, and then once I'd fed her tea, I said I sat. I literally sat at the dining table for the rest of the day just to get it done. It was like I need to get this finished. So bring you eight. So I think that's looking quite good so far. This is where I always mess up. So that's the part of the, of the arm there, isn't it? So let's go in with that shade. And let's just make it a little bit darker. Well, that reminds me. Once I finish filming, I need to take the filter out of the fish tank and give it a good water change. Alright, so let's start working on the other side. Let's bring you in a little bit closer. So I'm going to do all these little bits now before I forget so I don't want to get to a different medium and then forget that about them areas so we'll just get them out of the way now it's really warm today I think it's meant to be 23 or 24 degrees I think it's meant to be 30 degrees tomorrow so I want to be hiding in the house hibernating. 
uh, stand this heat. See, I can tell I'm gonna. I'm nervous now that this is not gonna be able to finish this picture off. But the nib is getting a little bit lighter. Can you see there, right on the end? And that's what happened last time when they started running out. Oh. I don't know if I'll be able to colour match with the Ohuhus, I don't think I will be able to. I'm not going to go in with the darker shade on that, I don't think it needs it. So let's just take this step by step. A little bit at a time. I'm really worried that he's going to run out. I really like this picture as well. I have to try and remember as well not to turn the page when I'm videoing. So if it was me on my own, this would be upside down by now. Yes, it's definitely running out because it's going very streaky. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Got a little bit up here that's shaded. I know a few people have commented where I can get the, the various ink from. I don't think I can get it from uh, Blick with being in the UK, I don't think so. And the places that I have found that sell it in the UK, the right of stock of the colours that I actually need, the skin tones. So there's not really much I can do until they restock. I'm just trying my best to get as much ink out of this pen as possible. You can see the difference. I don't know if I'm going to get away with this. What I might have to do. I've got a Lamouche here. I've got two here actually. Let's just see. If they're any, any sort of the same. So that's the colour that we need. The two Lamouche markers that I've got to hand here is 132 Milky White and 109 pearl white. So let's have a see. Hey, that's more of the yellow tone. And that's a little bit dark. I might have to just go with that and hope for the best. Because that is a no-no at the moment. Let's just keep our fingers crossed. It might be too dark. There is no brush with this one either. I'd find it good as well if the alcohol markers came in like a C3 pen. You know, so you could see how much ink that you've actually got left and then this sort of thing won't happen. I think what I'm going to have to do, you can see the difference, I'm thinking that I'm going to have to go over that hand, which I'll, I'll do off camera, but we'll, we'll finish this side and then we'll work on the face next. Right, that will lighten up. 
I'm not too worried at the moment. That will lighten up. I'm just going to take both lids off so I have got both sides to play with. We've got a little bit of the ear here and here. Trying to be careful not to get it too much in the hairline. The trick with these markers specifically, I find working in circles and then don't let it dry completely before going over to the next area because that's when you get streaks. Oh, I'm sorry if that noise annoys you. It's like chalkboard. <laughs> the reason that I use the Lamouchier ones is because I keep these just in my little plastic case, so it's just easy to grab. I mean, the Ohu markers might have been better. I'm not too sure. Normally with the lips, I usually go over the whole thing with the base colour of the skin and then I can decide whether I want to go over with alcohol markers or just pencil on the skin, on the lips, sorry. Do you remember that stage? I used to do the foundation lips, that was like a high school thing. The no eyebrows, foundation lips. We must have looked a mess. <laughs> How old am I now? I'm almost 33. I'm 33 in November. That was a long time ago. Teenagers nowadays look, look so much older, don't they? Because they're so talented with how they do the makeup. I wish we had YouTube back when I was in school, in high school. That little squeaking you hear in the background as well, that's that's my dog. She's snoring. And there's a little bit there it is. The so I'll, I'll do this arm off camera and then we will come back. Right, so I've gone over that whole, um, it still is a little bit wet at the moment, but we'll go in now back with the Corpics to add the shading. I'm hoping that these mix well with the Lemouchers, but we'll see. It might not do. It might have been a complete and utter disaster and I'll have to reprint it and I'll probably do it in pencils a little bit down here so before we work on the face we'll finish this off while it's still wet the shading one which was the E33 I'm going to have to very slightly turn it and let's go back over that now with the the Vermouche 
blend it out. Mm -hmm. She's just going to turn out a little bit darker than I originally wanted, but that's fine. I think I might go in and do a watercolour background or distressing. I've not decided yet. So let's add some over the ear, the side of the face. Underneath the jaw. She's slightly got a help a head tilted, aren't you? but we'll see. Sometimes you can plan as much as you want for videos and stuff. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. a lot darker under here I think with the way that she's tilting her head and the very darkest shade now I want to be super duper careful with this one let's put some underneath as she's got makeup on Just a tiny little bit on the nose. I'm worried that it's going to look like muddy. Right. Let's go back in with the the mousse. Which one was it now? The milky white one, three, two, and go over everything. Yet. Might get away with doing that with pencil. They're always just stunning, Mariola, as pairs. They're just beautiful. Again, just being a little bit more careful around the hairline. Right, so I'm going to let that completely dry. You can see it's warping a bit there, very much I've put down. I'm going to let that completely dry before I move on to the next step. Okay, now I think that's more or less dry. And I don't know whether it was the Copics, the ink that I've used to print, 
the paper or the Lamouche markers but if I just show you a little bit closer where I've gone over with the alcohol markers it's made the ink look like it's got a bit of a greeny blue tint to it so I'm not sure what's going on there and I'm hoping that when I use the pencil pencils over it you know that I'll um, do the trick but I'm going in with the Ohuhu markers now the brush ones and I'm just going to use the one colour which is white air 5 the terracotta and it is a lovely auburn brown colour I would say I'm going to start off we'll start on this portion here I think these ones are really nice and juicy because they are brand new so I shouldn't have any problems I'm going to take the lid off the back of that actually yeah I've not had any problems with these markers as of yet now I know that they do sell open stock of these in uh, the US I did email Ohuhu UK and they don't uh, have the open stock available at the moment you know if you get in case you run out of one or two colours you'd have to probably buy the whole set again but they're not overly they're not really really expensive in the first place and for a brush tip they're definitely giving the Copics a run for the money I think a really weird colouring as well when I first had these acrylic nails put on so I've not had them in like oh gosh since March since since I went away I think I was letting my own natural nails grow and then they started flaking and I couldn't understand why so I thought you know what I'm just gonna go and get them done again so that's what I did That's a really, really gorgeous colour. I could do a, um, a corset, either black or a really nice red, like a dark wine red. Or maybe green to contrast with the hair. concentrated when I go quiet when I'm around the areas of the skin yeah, but if you're looking for affordable alcohol markers I would definitely recommend these really nice will tell me if I miss any because it's always the same I get to the end and I've put everything away and then I managed to just spot a bit that I've missed gorgeous colour oops I've gone over my skin a little bit there see right so that's the little, that little portion done Let's move to this. Try and be a little bit more careful than I ever. I was watching Disney vlogs again last night. Like people going to Florida on the rides. Like day in the life sort of thing. That's what we've been watching. We've been watching a lot of Jack Whitehall on Netflix at the moment. Both me and my husband in the evenings. He's funny. I'm probably going to have to bring this colour up just so I don't get a line. I 
gonna make myself a nice coffee in a minute. Or do I want a cup of tea? Or a lemon tea, I might have a lemon tea actually. And then I have to go and finish off the washing and do dinners. I need to prep tea. Let's do this one, this little one here. I'm hoping to get all the alcohol base done and possibly might then work on the background because the background is always my favourite. I don't think I'll be able to do the pencil as well on camera, otherwise it'll be a couple of hours long this video. It's nice to just sit here in the day as well. I've got no TV on. I've got no YouTube or Netflix playing in the background. Just peace and quiet, which is nice. Because it's normally Mr. Tumble or Alvin and the Chipmunks or Bing that's on. Or one of my son's programmes. He likes Friends, and I. Come full circle, that. I used to watch Friends a lot when I was his age. He should be in a better mood when he gets home from school today because he did, um, his lesson today is art, so he's got art all day. But last week when he had PA, and it was literally PA all day, and for Lewis that does not like any sort of exercise, um, he wasn't in a good mood when he got home. He says, they made me do weights, Mum. I said, you did weights? He said, well, no, not really. I just stood there and watched. <laughs> He's only a very uh, skinny lad. He's quite tall. He's taller than me now. Fourteen. I'm five five. So yeah, he's taller than me, but he's very very slim. portion there. See, you nearly forgot to sell me about that. This portion here I'm just going to try and go with the direction of the uh, What I'll probably do with the rest of this hair I'll just speed through it now and then we can start working on the background.
Right, so that's the hair done now. It's more or less dry. And for the background, I'm going to go around all of the outside with both Distress Ink and Nail Colour. So we'll go and do the Distress Ink first. I've got Antique Linen and Scattered Straw, which are more yellow tones. And then I'm going to do the, the water technique that I've shown a couple of times on the channel. And then we'll go in with the Neo Colours as well. So this is just a makeup blending brush that I use for the Distress Ink. Now I have got the, the blenders that do uh, you can buy with them, you know, like with them sponges. Uh, I've never really got on with them to be honest. You're going to go back in there. So let's start this off. Start from the outside. I don't even know if this is going to be dark enough for the camera to even pick up. I just want a light layer of this and I want to go in with the slightly darker one which is the scattered straw. Hopefully it is picking up a little. It looks like she's got a wig on. <laughs> but once we've uh, used the pencil for the details it won't look as bad I promise. But I possibly might have to do that in the second part. I'll not finish this picture off camera. I'll see what everyone thinks. You know, if you're not bothered about seeing the pencil detail, I'll just do that in my own time. But I'll wait until this video is up before I do that. A bit more on this side. But you'll always see finished pages anyway at the end of the month. If you just want to see what it looks like but you're not really bothered about the pencil, just let me know. Now this side, it definitely gives it an antique look, as the name, antique linen. Going with a slightly darker one there, which is the scattered straw. Yeah, I'm just going to use my heat gun with this, but I won't film that part because I find it quite annoying to listen to myself. So I'll not put you through that as well. We definitely don't need as much as that one as the other one. it darker in the edges because I am going to go in with these bright, quite bright nail colours as well. There was a new David Attenborough as well last night which was Sunday is the day so I think I'm gonna see if my son wants to watch it with me like it's David Attenborough. Not, not as much as me I don't think uh, but I'm gonna see if he wants to watch it together bring you out very slightly, put the lid back on these just so I don't get any water in them. These are quite cool as well, these little dabbers. I found these in Hobbycraft, I've used these on a couple of pages, not using them today. So I'm just using just an ordinary spray bottle, I mean I think I found this at like B&M or a pound shop or something, it was literally a pound. I know that you can get the, the Tim Holtz one. I'm quite curious to see how much better that is for the price difference. So I'm just spraying water, just randomly. I'm not pressing all the way down with the, um, it might be difficult for me to show you the bottom there. I'm not pressing all the way down, I'm just tapping it. Just very gently. And just leave it there to sit just for a second. Let's move it back up. And then this is my cloth that I use for painting, ink, anything really. And then I'm just going to lift the colour up, so push down quite firmly onto the page when you're doing this part. And it does give a super cool effect. 
Right, and then move to a clean part of the cloth. It's actually sticking to my tray, so I'm going to have to be careful here. Let's lift it up. This is not watercolour paper as well, at all. So I am going to have to be careful how much water I am actually popping on here. So I'm going to dry this off camera, dry it on the surface, and then we can work on the, uh, the nail colour too. Right, so they're all dry now. I've moved you over very slightly, just so you can see a lot bit of my tray. And the colours that I've chosen are uh, Vermilion, which always reminds me of Pokemon. That's the darker red colour, flame red and golden yellow. And the cool thing about this mat is you can colour straight onto this and then wet it to then apply it. Or you can go in straight away onto the page. This is the way that I like to do it. And I've got two different uh, brushes. I've just got an apple brush, which is quite a fine tip, and then a bigger uh, watercolour brush, which I've not wet, wet, wet them, pre wet them. So let me get my little jar of water ready. And let's wet these. You don't need very much to activate these colours. Let me pre wet the paint brush. And like I said, it is not watercolour paper, this. So I am going to have to be careful how much colour I am putting down. I'll be careful not to put my hand in that, because I've done that before. That's a little bit weak, I might need a bit more pigment. I think I'm going to add a little bit more. That's a bit better. There's definitely no rhyme or reason the way that I do neo colours in this way. It's just where I see fit to have the colours. medium in a little while you sort of forget how it works so let's get back I'm just going to place the colour down initially I think and then worry about the blending afterwards I am going to have to turn you around here otherwise you won't be able to see, whoops a daisy, everything that I'm doing. I don't know about anybody else, but this is this stage that my watercolour goes through. Hello Alexa. It always goes through a bit of an ugly stage. Before actually leaking quite nice. So let's turn her back round. I'm not happy with the... How dark that is, so... more. I know I can go straight from the crayon to the brush to the paper but let's just stick with this way and see how we go. That's a little bit more vibrant. 
I'm just going to dot it right everywhere that I see fit. That's definitely more vibrant now. More yellows in here. That was a colouring beat that's coming today. I ordered, uh, gosh, what's it called? Oh, it's one with the cute animals and it's like wildlife and stuff. And I ordered it in it. I ordered it on Saturday and it said delivery on Thursday. Right, that's fine. I don't mind waiting. And it popped up this morning to say it was going to be delivered today, which is cool. I think she's going to look really nice if I do green eyes, maybe. With all this red, might contrast really nice. Oh, I forgot to say before as well, with that distressing, you can reactivate it if you wanted to go in and add some more droplets, even after it's dry, you can go and do that. Right, so I'm going to water these down now, quite a lot. I'm just going to mix them and see what colour we get. And just start the blending. I want it to look quite, I don't want to say messy, but that is the, the thing that I'm going for. Might have to blast it with the heat gun again. And put on maybe one more layer. See my heat gun will reach up here where I've got it plugged in. Sometimes it doesn't reach. straight onto the paper this time just with the darkest red in a couple of areas let's see how that looks blended out now I'll just use this to wet the brush I think I'm going to do the same with the yellow as well for the messy look, it's like layer, layer upon layer upon layer. My tummy's rumbling, it's nearly dinner time. I've got some lovely roast, uh, roast chicken from yesterday left over. So I'm going to have a roast chicken with a bit of stuffing that's left over. Plenty of salt on brown bread for my dinner. And possibly half a tin of soup. I've been all about the soup lately. I'm gonna add some more. Pea and ham soup and chicken and noodle soup. I ran it I ran it on my homemade one. That was delicious though that did. My husband even took it to work the leftovers. Right, let me blast it with the heat gun one more time. I do need to rethink about where I've got things plugged in. <laughs> I'm 
that background now. So I won't touch it with any sort of pencils, I won't do any more work on it. Um, I'll wait and see what the response is to this video. You know, I don't mind doing it on my own time, it's a beautiful picture. Yeah, so this glass cutting board, so you just spray that down again with just some clean water. Use your cloth. And there we go. I'll clean and ready for the next time I want to use it. I just love this mat, love it. Just don't have to have pallets out everywhere. But yeah, that is the end of the colouring chat. So I've done all the marker base, I've done all of the background. And I don't know about you, I find it so interesting looking at marker pictures. Look at that. It's so cool. So that is the Mario Libre deck. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.